Okay, today we're gonna go shopping at Big C Extra and Pattaya for groceries to let you all know how much it costs for grocery shopping for four days. And we only shop for four days at a time because we get so much produce. Isn't that right? Because we eat healthy. So ground pork, 200 baht per kilo. So we bought just over a half kilo of pork. So we're getting four days worth of food, 255 baht per kilo on the sliced pork. All right. So sliced pork, 169 Thai baht. Ground pork, 132. Skin on chicken breast, 75 baht per kilo. Whole leg chicken, 65 baht per kilo. Four of these. Four chicken thigh and leg, 99 baht. 155 baht for six skin on chicken breast. Chicken thigh, 65 baht per kilo. I need four of these. Bone in, skin on thigh for 40 baht. Pork loin, 213 baht per kilo. Thank you. 191 thigh baht for three pork loin. Now we have our meat, our protein. Now we're gonna head over and get some vegetables. If you're a big vegetable and fruit eater like I am, this is what's nice about living in Thailand. Compared to the US, everything's much cheaper. Okay, so this is 89 per kilogram. So we're gonna get three papaya for just a few days. We get the smaller papaya. So when we cut it, we can eat it all while it's fresh. If we get the big papaya, then we have too much left over and it's not very good after a day. It gets all mushy. Four days, so day one, today, yellow. Fourth day, super green. And the other two, day two and day three. That's how we pick the papaya. Two papaya, 128 baht. Two more papaya, 136 baht. 89 baht for one kilo of passion fruit. Fruit and vegetables that come from Thailand are cheap. Anything that's imported from Vietnam or another country is a little more expensive. So 224 Thai baht for two things of blueberries. 60 Thai baht. 60 Thai baht. 60 Thai baht. All different types of lettuce. So nine baht per gram, so that, okay. 10 baht for basil. Mmm, smell it. Smells good. Parsley, 15 baht per 100 grams. Holly basil. Green onion, 10 baht per 100 grams. So basil, 17 baht. Green onion is 11 baht. Holly basil is 8 baht. Come check this out. So here's some ginger, a little different than the ginger that we're used to. Yeah, this is ginger I've never seen before. 11 baht. Wax gourd, it's, if it's got the white looking powder stuff on it, it's fresh. If it's green and shiny, it's been here a while. 27 uh, Thai baht per kilo. 32 Thai baht for a white gourd. For a soup. 89. 89 Thai baht for the grapefruit. So three onions for 37 Thai baht. 49 baht. Potatoes, garlic, 23 baht. The Bugs Bunny cartoon carrot. Four huge carrots for 33 baht. Cherry tomatoes, 46 baht. Tomatoes for soup, 34 baht. 99 baht per kilogram for lemons. Six lemons for 97 baht. New Zealand avocado. Small, but better flavor than Asian avocado. 156 baht for four New Zealand 
avocados. 62 baht for grapes. One pineapple for 49 yeah. baht. 139 baht for olive oil. And 176 baht for balsamic vinaigrette. 64 baht, olives. Oyster sauce, 63. Soy sauce, 28 baht. All right, so we need to buy water because we cannot drink the tap water in Thailand. 51 baht. And we're getting six of these to last us four days. Quick note, we have a grocery routine, so our bill is pretty consistent, and I waited to complete the video until all groceries were consumed to verify it was, in fact, exactly four days worth of food. We only had oyster sauce and soy sauce left over, which the oyster sauce will probably last us a month. The total came to 3,136 baht, which is $95.12 for two people eating four days which is $23.78 per day per two people, or $11.89 per day per person, which is $356.70 per month per person. That is one third the cost of my US monthly grocery bill. Interesting note here, eating only at Thai restaurants costs me $381 per month. And there's a video on that, you can go check that out. However, the groceries I eat at home are much healthier and nutrient dense due to selection and preparation. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up to let me know.